believe that atherosclerosis is simply the result of high cholesterol, which then deposits on the inside of the arteries. There is actually much more to atherosclerosis than simply high cholesterol. In actual fact, atherosclerosis is a complex process caused primarily by free radical damage. The artery is lined by a leak-proof layer designed to prevent cholesterol or other foreign material from invading the deeper layers of the artery wall. If this leak-proof lining is damaged by free radicals, cholesterol, calcium, iron and other toxic substances can begin to invade the arterial wall which causes a further increase in free radical damage. White blood cells then gather in and around this area of damage and cause inflammation in the wall of the artery. Eventually, the inflamed artery wall becomes thickened with scar tissue, cholesterol, calcium and iron. This thickened region is now called a plaque. If the plaque becomes thick enough, blood flow through the artery is impaired. This blockage of blood flow can lead to chest pain, known as angina or pain in the legs with walking, known as claudication. In addition to causing stable blockages, the plaque can become dangerously unstable. Without warning, the brittle and unstable plaque may rupture, leading to sudden clot formation. This is how unexpected heart attacks often occur. This microscopic picture is a cross-section through an actual coronary artery in a region of the heart where plaque rupture caused sudden cardiac death. This area, which was the opening where blood flowed, is now completely blocked with a large clot. Around the outside of the clot are small bits of calcium, which was part of the calcified and unstable plaque. Prior to its rupture, this plaque was only blocking the artery by about 50%. This would not have been enough of a blockage to cause any symptoms at all. One day without warning the plaque suddenly ruptured, its contents spilled out through this opening and the plaque's calcified shell exploded against the side of the artery. The debris from the inside of the plaque stimulated this large clot to form. This person was probably well and without any symptoms such as angina until suddenly this small plaque ruptured leading to death within minutes. If this same phenomena occurred to a plaque in the neck arteries, a piece of the plaque would likely travel into the brain, lodging there and causing a stroke. With each chelation treatment, free radical generating metal ions, such as iron, are cleansed from the bloodstream and cells of the artery wall. Thus, the amount of damaging free radicals are greatly diminished and the healing process is able to take place in the injured arterial wall. Calcium is gradually dissolved and chelated away from the hardened atherosclerotic plaques. Hardened arteries regain flexibility and blood flow begins to improve. Those plaques which are very brittle, rough or ulcerated are gradually softened and the risk of the plaque fracturing and releasing bits of debris is greatly reduced. Likewise, the risk of a plaque rupturing and forming a potentially fatal clot is also significantly diminished. With each chelation treatment, high amounts of B vitamins are given intravenously. This improves cellular metabolism and reduces the production of a toxic substance known as homocysteine, which is a major risk factor in the development of atherosclerosis. As well, B vitamins such as thiamine increase the excretion of toxic metals. High amounts of vitamin C are given intravenously. This helps to rapidly raise tissue levels of vitamin C, resulting in improved healing and powerful antioxidant effects. High doses of magnesium relax the arterial wall, strengthen the heart muscle, and help to diminish irregular heartbeats. Many people are actually magnesium deficient, and in such cases, intravenous magnesium can have numerous benefits. In addition to the direct benefits of chelation therapy, antioxidants and mineral supplements are prescribed in association with chelation therapy. These provide additional free radical protection to the cells of the artery wall. In 1993, 
a group of researchers headed by Dr. L. T. Chappell published a critical analysis of all research on chelation therapy as a treatment for arterial disease. Using a time-honored method of statistical inquiry known as meta-analysis, a complete investigation of 18 exceptional scientific studies was done. The results of this study, which involved a total of 22,500 patients, confirmed that chelation therapy has a good to excellent success rate in 87% of those with blocked arteries. Chelation therapy is gaining worldwide acceptance and is becoming standard medical treatment in many countries. Although still suppressed and opposed by those who have little interest in advancing beyond the established and very profitable approaches to circulatory disorders, increasing numbers of physicians and scientists are coming to the conclusion that chelation therapy has tremendous potential in the treatment of atherosclerosis and many other disorders. An excellent example of this increased acceptance is seen in the recent publication within a major cardiology textbook of a chapter dedicated to EDTA chelation therapy. This text, entitled Cardiovascular Drug Therapy, is the second edition edited by Dr. F. H. Meserly. This text is considered to be one of the most authoritative references in the field of cardiology and it has been written by over 280 of the world's top cardiologists and cardiac scientists. Because of this book's extensive editorial review board, nothing gets into this text unless it is based on the best science the world has to offer. Because EDTA chelation therapy now fits so squarely into the scientific understanding of atherosclerosis, a chapter on EDTA chelation therapy was printed in this latest edition. Written by the renowned scientist Dr. Martin Rubin, Emeritus Professor at Georgetown University School of Medicine in Washington, D.C., this chapter describes in very clear terms that EDTA chelation therapy is a scientific and rational treatment for circulatory disorders. Dr. Rubin goes on to describe how EDTA chelation is safe and effective as a means to greatly reduce free radicals in the body, to reduce the risk of blood clots, and to bring about a decalcification of atherosclerosis. His own research using the ultrafast CT or cardiac calcium scan has demonstrated that patients with severe coronary artery disease show a marked lessening of coronary atherosclerosis following a series of EDTA chelation treatments. Chelation therapy is currently offered at the Klein Medical Center under the supervision of Dr. John C. Klein, MD, a fully licensed physician and surgeon. Dr. Klein has a long and keen interest in science and he graduated with a degree in biochemistry from the University of Calgary. He successfully completed his Doctor of Medicine degree at University of Calgary in 1985 and he went on to finish a two-year residency in family practice at the Holy Cross Hospital in Calgary. Dr. Klein is certified by the Canadian College of Family Practice and he spent eight years in private practice in Port Alberni. Over the last few years, Dr. Klein has taken extensive additional training in the fields of chelation therapy, biooxidative medicine, nutritional medicine and functional medicine. He is currently board certified by the American Board of Chelation Therapy as well as the International Academy of Biooxidative Medicine. Dr. Klein is an academically oriented physician who participates in ongoing university approved research as the medical director of the Oceanside Functional Medicine Research Institute. Every day I witness people recovering so remarkably from devastating illnesses. In many cases, people come to this clinic having lost all hope. To me, whenever I speak with a person who has regained their health, their strength, their quality of life from chelation therapy, it is a true miracle. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Because of what I witness time and time again, I believe very strongly in the great power that God has placed in every cell of our bodies. Let's face it, our bodies want to be well. 
If we cleanse our bodies from free radical producing toxins, restore circulation to our cells, provide optimal nutrition, the healing power built right